In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning how we can use the UV sphere and just make a few changes to create various variations that look fairly complex but are actually really simple to create. So in our default scene, we're going to go ahead and just delete our default cube and then press Shift A Mesh UV Sphere to add in the UV Sphere. Now we're going to press Tab to go into Edit Mode, or you can switch from the drop down over here and press 7 on our numpad to go to the top view. Alternatively, you can always click on View, Viewpoint, Top. So once you have that done, just select the topmost vertex over here and press O to switch on Proportional Editing or press this button over here and then say R and just rotate it and see how many of the vertices are moving. Once you do that, use the scroll wheel to increase the size until you see even the outermost vertices also moving. Once you have that set, press 90 and enter. Then you can press Control 7 to go to the bottom view, select the bottommost vertex, R, 90, enter. So once you do this, you see you get these really nice spirals. Once you have that, you can press 7 to go to the top view again and just select the Edge Select button over here, or you can just press 2 and then press Alt Shift and select every alternate edge loop. So when you press Alt Shift, when you select an edge, the entire edge loop gets selected. So make sure you have that pressed and select all of them. Once you're done selecting all of them, press Control B to add a bevel and just bevel it till the topmost bevel goes close to the next edge loop but does not overlap like this because this will create bad geometry that will be problems later on. So let's go till here and then press Alt E and select extrude faces along normal. Then just move it up or down to create two different variations. So first we'll just move it up something like this and just click to confirm the selection. Once you're done with that, tab again to go back to object mode, go to the modifiers properties and add in a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the levels to something like three and go ahead and press object shade smooth. So this is the first object that we have. The second object can be created very similarly by just dragging them in. So what we can do is we can grab this on the x-axis, move it to the side, shift D, X, and get our second variation over here. Then press tab and ideally the same selection that you had last selected with this one should still remain selected. So now we can just switch off proportional editing and just scale it down and then tab back to object mode and this is our second object. So now we can select these two objects, grab them on the x-axis and move them away. The next thing that you can do is instead of having these actually go in the same direction, you can actually have them curve back in. So we'll do that with the second type, although you could do the exact same thing as you did with these in this particular variation. So let's take a look. Mesh, UV sphere, seven, tap to edit mode. Make sure you have vertex select on by pressing one or selecting that. Select the top, rotate, switch on proportional editing, rotate 90 degrees. And now when you press control seven and select the bottom vertex, instead of rotating it by 90 degrees, rotate it by minus 90 degrees. So that way you see you get the shapes going curved like that. So now you can go back to face select mode and you can do exactly what we did here by selecting the edges and beveling it. But this time we're going to go ahead and choose the face select mode. Make sure at the, you're at the junction of two faces that are part of the loop that you want to select and just select and you'll see the entire loop get selected. So go ahead and do that for every alternate loop. Make sure you have alt shift pressed while you select and then Go ahead and do the same thing, which is Alt E, extrude faces along normal and just push it down. Tab, add modifier, subdivision surface, make the levels to three, object, shade smooth. Then GX, move it to the side. And because this is the faces being selected, you'll get fairly similar results whether you pull them out as we did or push them in. So you can see if you actually shift DX and just tab to go into edit mode and this time switch off proportional editing and scale it so that it goes outward and then tab out, you see you get something that looks almost the same, negligible difference. So it's really up to you. So once we have this type, we'll go ahead and create the other type. So let's just grab these on the X axis, move them to the side and then press shift A, mesh UV sphere. This time, instead of doing anything to it, we're going to add in modifiers of subdivision surface and just increase the levels to two and actually apply the modifier. Right after we apply it, we're going to go ahead and search for a decimate modifier and switch it to unsubdivide. And you'll see every alternate iterations, that is every time the iteration is an odd number, you get these really nice diagonal curves. So this is at three and you can choose to do it with this much geometry, but 
I'm going to go with something slightly simpler. So I'm going to go to five iterations so that we have even lesser geometry to work with. And then you can go ahead and apply this decimate modifier. Now you can press tab to go into edit mode and just A to select all of the faces. Then you can press I twice to allow insetting of the individual faces and go ahead and inset to whatever you think fits your scene. But just make sure that you don't inset too much to create artifacts as you can see happening right on top. So if you inset too much, it gets inverted and that's not something that you want. So let's say we inset it by this much. Now press Alt E, extrude faces along normal and just push them out. Now we're going to require are four versions of this but all of them have the same base so we're just going to go ahead and press tab to go into object mode shift dx tad in one more and do the same thing twice so we can press shift r to repeat the action and we get four of them so now let's select our second object tab to go into edit mode scale and just move them in like that and we're going to do the same thing with the last one tab scale by pressing s and bring them in how much you want to bring them in depends upon you but let's go with this much for now now we're we're just going to add in the modifiers. So right now this doesn't look that great because it has really sharp edges. So we're going to change that by selecting it. Make sure you press tab to go out of edit mode of the last one and just add modifier bevel and increase the segments to something like five. And now it just becomes a lot smoother and that's nice. Of course, object shade smooth. So we can just select all of them object shade smooth. Now let's select this one and add in the same modifier. Alternatively, we can shift select the one that already has the modifier and press Control L, copy modifiers. And that makes this one look a lot nicer as well. Now for these two, we can select it and add in a subdivision surface modifier and just increase the levels to three and you get this really cool shape. The exact same thing, you can go ahead, select this one, shift select this one, control L and copy modifiers and there you go. So that's actually something that allows you to create various organic shapes like these or slightly more abstract shapes like these or sci-fi shapes like this. It's all based on very simple manipulations that you can do to just the UV sphere. Something that you could note is that if you want something very similar to this, but you don't want this top part to get pinched off like this, which I think is artistically more complex and hence visually appealing. But if you want something more symmetrical, you can actually go ahead and add in an icosphere. Just increase the subdivisions to something like three, then grab it on the x-axis, move it to the side. And now you can tap and just double tap I to inset them just like that. Alt E, extrude faces along normal and just push them down. And then you can go ahead and control L, copy modifier, or just add in a subdivision surface of level two. That'll give you another variation. So you could actually do all of these variations with the icosphere as well. But I guess that is for another video. If you want to see me actually texture these and use these to create some animations, let me know and maybe that'll be the next video. But until that comes out, stay tuned and don't forget to stay creative.